Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am starting a little mini series. I know I start a lot of series, but I, as you know, I love the Kaleidos palettes and I want to play with them more, but like, I don't know what to do. But, <laughs> okay, how am I going to? I got, uh, I am on Kaleidos PR list and I am like, I I am so happy and so thankful and just it is amazing. So I got their new highlighters today. I got the package today and I wanted to play with the highlighters and also the palettes. So I'm going to do a little mini series with the highlighters and the palettes. So how this is going is I'm going to start with the first palette, the sci-fi green. And I'm going to do a makeup look and it's not a palette bingo, it's nothing like that. It's just a makeup look I want to do with that palette. And then I'm going to use one of the highlighters that I think is going good with that eyeshadow. <laughs> with that palette. So I'm going to try to use all six. And yes, it's five palettes and six highlighters. But I think I'm going to make this work. So today I'm starting off with a sci-fi green that is the Futurism one and I'm actually thinking about using two highlighters and it is Solar Sailor um, that I'm going to use as a highlighter and I'm thinking about using Laser Glazer as an inner corner highlight. I don't know because this is a little bit dark. I don't know if I am too light for this. I don't know. But I'm going to try to use both of these and do a makeup look with the eyeshadow palette. So long intro but now you know so I will zoom you in and we get started with this first episode in my Kaleidos. I wonder what I'm going to name this area. We will see. So okay and another thing that is new for this video is it's some first impressions in the same video i also got the brushes from kaleidos and if you didn't notice i am on a low buy this year and i had i am like on a no buy for brushes so this is going to be so fun to test some new brushes and i got the highlighter brush and then I got five eyeshadow brushes and I think I'm going to use all of these five. I am not sure. But I think I will at least. So I'm not going to talk like about the brushes more because it's just like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I like the look of them and they feel so, so soft. They are a little bit like, I like my blending brushes more round but I think we're going to do fine. So I will start with the S1 and the cipher green of course and I am thinking about taking this one in my crease and if you have any like idea what I should do with the Kaleidos palettes please let me know because these are some of my absolute favorite palettes and I want to play with them more, but it's like, I don't know what to do. And I have done palette bingo with all five of them. So yeah, if you want to see something special, just let me know. And the brush, I have nothing to complain about. It's a good brush, but it's not like the shape that I like because I want them to be more round because with my eye shape and how I do my makeup I like more bigger blending brushes but nothing wrong with this at all and I am so sorry if I'm feeling a little bit low because I am or When I'm recording this, it's Monday today, and on Saturday I was at a friend's birthday party. And I am an introvert. Okay, I really love this shade. Uh, I am an introvert, and it's like 
has drained me. I had fun at that party, but like it has drained me of like all my energy. So on Sunday I was like doing nothing. I took a long bath and was like chilling in the sofa all day because it's drained me and I am still a little bit drained of energy. But <laughs> when I finally got this package because it came to Sweden like a week ago, but then it was in customs or customs. And it is so slow. And I have forgot how much I love this color. I really hope that Kaleidos will come with more eyeshadow palettes. And if you haven't tried them, do it because these are some like amazing and unique formulas. Okay, so something like that and then I will drink some Pepsi. It is times like this when I miss to drink Monster. I had a Monster addiction before but I have, haven't drink a Monster the whole year but like days like this I just want to buy a can and just like Shove it down my throat. Okay, um, then I will go in with the S2. This is another little brush thing. And I will take the black one. And this is super black. And I will put it over here. And it feels a little bit strange to work with new brushes because, as I said, I haven't bought any new brushes this whole year. So I am a little bit like. How am I supposed to do this? And why am I doing like this? Okay. This is a little bit different shape of a brush that I normally use. But I think it's good to lay to lay down the color, but maybe not. It works to blend out in the crease, but it's like I don't know why I went all the way in here. Because I'm doing okay. Now I, I just go with the flow now. This black is an amazing black. I will go back with the color I had my crease just to try, just to try to just to like fix this up here. But I don't know if I'm going to do it. Like a cut crease, maybe. And it always feels a little bit strange for me to do like... Just take a palette from my collection and just do a makeup look. Because I normally don't do that. Because it's either like a free looks one palette or first impression or a palette bingo or something. But I really like just to play with makeup as well. Look, out here my eye is dry. I have talked about this before. This eye isn't like a good eye. Okay, and I think I actually want to cut my crease because I don't want it to be too dark or too much black. So I go in with some glitter glue from NYX. If you don't want to go in with a glitter glue, you don't have to with Kaleidos, but now I feel I went a little bit too overboard with the black. And then I take this brush, this is a S3, and it's pretty flat, and I take this green shimmer, and it feels like Kaleidos brushes should be really good. This brush is pretty big. I just do it. It feels like their own brushes should be so good together with their own shadows and yeah. Oh, this shade is like Amazing. 
I remember when I... This was the first palette I tried. And I was like blown away by this. And... It feels like this has like the same quality as UV's Place when it comes to shimmers. And that says a lot because UV's Place is amazing with shimmers. I would just go in with the black and I think I got too much on my brush. And I think something like this. I like to do like half of my eyelid in shimmer and half of it matte. I know that that's maybe not the normal thing to do, but I like it. The only thing I don't like with cutting my crease with a glitter glue is like sometimes you don't know how far you have gone because it's not like as visible as concealer. So okay, I think this is pretty even. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, but I will wait with the highlighter because I want to put it on with you. So I will fix everything except for my highlights and then we do the under eyes and the inner corner and I will try to have this laser glazer in my inner corners. So yeah, I fix my base and my brows and then I will come back and we do the highlight and the inner corner and the under eyes. We do that together. So okay, time for the highlighter and I feel so dry in my face without my setting spray. So for my cheeks I'm going to use Solar Sailor and these are, I know that this was tin cans. Thin, but this is not like a slipper this is like a little bit rubbery I like that so much so this is solar sailor time for the brush and this is h1 okay i have heard that these are like so intense so maybe i shouldn't take that much it is i don't know if you can see i always think it's so hard to like <sighs> this hair like get the highlighter to show up on camera but I think you can see and this is like very very pigmented and very like golden I don't know if this is too dark for me I took a little bit too much. The brush works good, but it's a little bit... Okay, it was better on this side when I didn't take that much. It's a little bit like stiffer than my normal highlighting brush, so I'm a little bit not used to it. Mine is easier to do like this, but nothing wrong with it. And it's like too much on this side. Okay, so... Maybe build it up and not go in with too much from the beginning is my little tip with this. But I like it even though it's not that good on here. I will just spray my face before we start with the under eyes. Okay, I like it more on this side. We go see here I got a little bit too much but... I like it. So, okay, for the under eyes, I am going to take this brush, and this is S5. And I am going to take the one that I had in my crease, so this one, and put it on my whole lower lash. And this brush is a little bit smaller than I usually use on my lower lash, but we will see. I think this brush is good okay, and then I just take a little, little 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 black just to take out here then I want to do a speed clean on this because I want to use it a little bit more you clean okay so now I will go in with laser glazer the green 
highlight that looks like this because this I think it's going to be too dark for me to have on my face so I will use this in my inner corner and I will take this brush and I will spray this I think because I don't want this to fall on my face <laughs> okay, this looks so freaking cool this shade it's like, I don't know, I don't know how much you can see, but for me it looks freaking awesome. So okay, I am going to do something, put something on my waterline, put on mascara and also a lipstick and then I will be back with the finished look and like my first little impression with the highlighters that I've used and also maybe talk a little bit about the brushes so yeah I will fix the last things and then I will come back so I am back and of course I went with a red lippy so for my wash line I took electric daisy is it electric daisy yeah from Colourpop and on my lips I took hanging rock from Nabla my absolute favorite lipsticks of all times so this is the finished look. So what do I think about the new products from Kaleidos? I, we can start with the Solar Sailor. I really like it. On this side it is too much. So it's like almost, it doesn't look that good. But on this, on this side I really like it. I don't know how much you can see. But it's like, it's a good highlighter and I like it. But... Yeah, just be a little careful, but this one I really like. And the next one, the Laser Glazer, I don't think I can use this on my cheek, but as an inner corner highlight, I love it. I don't know how much of you, how much of you, how much you can see of it, but it's like, it's so nice and I love like the different I, I don't know if you can see shit really like it and I love it when they do like different colors for a highlight and not only like gold or pink or a little bit more crazy color I really like it and I really like this boxes I don't know where I will store them but they are so freaking cute and if we go over to the brushes, I have used all except for one. I didn't use this flat one. But the other, if we start with the highlight brush, it's good. It's a little bit more stiffer than I'm used to with a highlight brush. But it's nothing to complain at. I think the size is good and a good highlight brush. And the brushes, the same there. I'm a little bit not used to the size or the shape of them they are like a little bit too flat for me for being like crease brushes but that's like my only my own preference but they are good they pick up shadows good and they blend them good and i think this one is going to be a super favorite for me because this is it's perfect length and it's not too stiff, but it's not like too flimsy and just really, really good. So it was really... If I want to do some details like under my eyes, this will be perfect. So I am real pleased with the brushes as well. So yeah, that was all for this first part. And I used the sci-fi green, if you missed it. So I really hope you will like this series. So it's coming four more where I use one of the palettes and yes I'm going to do them in order because that's just the way I work. So I'm going to do them with or in order and try to find a highlighter that I think goes good with the look and I will try to use all the highlighters. So I have used two today and I have four left. So four palettes left, four highlighters left. So I hope I will manage. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and do you have any of the Kaleidos things or do you want to try them? I will leave their website down in the description. And as I said, this was a PR package I got and 
it's so fun and I am so grateful and thankful for Kaleidos that they put me on their PR list. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!